Hello, Eagles. This is Gillette with a story today for you to listen to. It's called The Very Impatient Caterpillar. Listen closely because you might feel a little bit like this caterpillar sometimes, maybe even right now. This is The Very Impatient Caterpillar, and it's written by Ross Barach, and he's drawn the pictures as well. He's the author and the illustrator. So sit back, get cozy, and enjoy The Very Impatient Caterpillar. It says, is it time yet? Hey, what are you guys doing? We're going to metamorphosize. Have you ever heard of that word? Huh. Oh. Meta what now? Transform into butterflies. Right, right. I knew that. Wait, you're telling me I can become a butterfly? Yes. With wings? Yes. For real? Yes. Wait for me. Now what? Build your chrysalis. Chrysalis, right, right, I knew that. What? How did you do that? Is it a spin or more of a twirl? Hmm. Am I a butterfly yet? Ugh. Now what? Just be patient and let nature take its course. Patience, right, right. I got this. Am I a butterfly yet? No. How about now? No. Now? No, be patient. I have a question. Not yet. You don't even know what I was going to ask. Fine, fine, ask. How's your day going? Also, am I a butterfly yet? No, just be patient. Shh, we're trying to metamorphosize. Okay, okay. He's not very patient, is he? Obviously, I know this, but do you know how long this takes? Two weeks. Right, right. Two weeks. Two weeks? Is that very patient? No. Sometimes two weeks can feel a like a long time. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, what am I going to do for two weeks? Can I get a comic book or something? What if I need to use the bathroom? Uh, anyone want to play a game? What if, what if I want a snack? Hello, hello, two pizzas, please. My address, um, a chrysalis? Click. Hello, hello? How long have I been in here? Huh. It's still day one. This is taking forever. That's it. I feel metamorphosized enough. Do you think he really is? No. Look out world. Feast your eyes on this beautiful butterfly. How do I look? Transformed? Time to spread my wings and fly. Uh-oh. Did he wait long enough? No. He only waited one day. Have you ever had a day that felt like that? Or maybe a week or two? Where you just were stuck and couldn't do anything else? Wait! Flap, 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 flap. Where are my wings? Splat. Time for a new approach. Ooh, what's he gonna try now? Hmm, we'll find out. 
Okay, you can do this. You can be patient. Oh, who am I kidding? I can't be patient. Get a grip. You can. I can't. I can't. You are the little caterpillar that could. I am the little caterpillar who couldn't. You can. I can't. (laughs) You can. I can't. You can. I can't. Can. Can't. Hmm. Mr. Squirrel is wondering what is going on. I can be patient. Patience is all in the mind. Be one with the chrysalis. I'm doing it. Doing it. Deep breath in and out. Look, day six. I'm doing it. Just be patient. Just be patient. And he went silent. Two weeks later. I did it. I'm a butterfly. Oh, look. He really made it all of his two weeks. He just had to think like being patient. You know, I do feel transformed. Starting now, I'm going to be way more patient. That's great. Hey, where are you guys all going? We're migrating. Migrating, right, right. Wait for me. Are we there yet? Ugh. Uh Uh-oh, is he being patient now? No. Sometimes it's hard to be patient, isn't it? Sometimes we just want things to happen right away. And I bet you feel a little bit like the impatient caterpillar some days when we're at home and not able to go places. Yeah, but just think patience is all in the mind and we can do it. We'll see each other again soon. Have a great night.